developing tonight. Parts of our viewing area are still without power after a snow event overnight Sunday into Monday morning. Channel 3's Elise Zwick checked in on the progress in Polk County today. Over 700 people in the area have been without power for the last 24 hours due to the snowstorms. Crews have been on the scene working tirelessly to get power restored as soon as possible. The company is trying to put all the manpower that we can uh, feasibly get here and safely get here. Obviously, when you have an outages like this, we have to have a chain of command and good communication where we know folks where they're at for their own safety and, and where to go for the next assignment. Aaron Hood, Cleveland area manager of the Volunteer Energy Cooperative, says he and his crews have been working nonstop. They have had boots on the ground since 4 a.m. Monday morning. And we still are finding different problems and different uh, issues with broke poles and li additional lines down. Hood says the area received three to five inches of snow, which turned to freezing rain, causing downed power lines, 12 broken poles and uprooted trees. These types of outages happen. I, I think this one caught us a little bit by surprise by the amount. Uh, we didn't have a lot of snow as far as three to five inches, I would imagine, in some areas. but. A lot of that snow got met with freezing rain and everything that fell actually stuck to the trees and weighted them down and caused a lot of uprooting we didn't anticipate. Hood says it is recommended by FEMA to have supplies in your home for disasters like these. I think it's what FEMA tells us to, for any of us to be prepared for 72 hours to kind of have to uh, go it alone, if you will, and uh, that's that's the last thing we want as a cooperative for our members to be without any power service, but at the same time, when things like this happen, it's inevitable that it's going to take some time to get to them. The Volunteer Energy Cooperative is thankful for the patience of the community and the help of the other organizations like the West Polk Fire and Rescue, the Polk County Sheriff's Department, TDOT, and their crews. All of these individuals have worked extremely hard and very passionate about what they do to serve our members because we know how, uh, how electricity, we, we don't go without it. And, uh, and when, when we do, it's not the life we want to be in. Crews say they hope to have power fully restored by the end of the week. Reporting in Polk County, Elise Swick, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.